The use of ritual is a key feature of all religions. The way in which the term ritual is understood determines how those rituals are analysed. We will explore the work of contemporary Australian theologian Terence Lovett, who has developed earlier theories on ritual into a five-step approach. Terence Lovett is an Australian professor of theology, ethics and education. He has spent over two decades studying Islam and its relation to Australian culture. Lovett has been the main researcher for a project in schools which uses values education to address social issues such as cultural and religious difference. This project has offered students in schools in Sydney the opportunity to exchange between Islamic and other religious schools, to learn from each other and discover similarities and differences. Lovett firmly believes that misconceptions about Islam must be challenged in society. Lovett was researching rituals in the 1990s and proposed a theory about how rituals work which built on existing theories of ritual. Like many other scholars who have attempted to explain ritual, Lovett started from the perspective that rituals have a beginning, middle and end. From this, Lovett has devised a five-step understanding of rituals, which we will use to apply to the ritual of the Eucharist. This is applicable to the celebration of the Eucharist in most Christian denominations, but was devised particularly with the Catholic Mass in mind. In Lovett's view, a ritual begins when the participants leave the ordinary world and enter into the world of the ritual. This happens when participants of the Eucharist enter the sacred space in which the ritual is to be held, a church or a chapel. Often this entering is done in silence, with a reflective ambience. The participant may use holy water at the point of entry. There may be music playing, which signifies entering into another mental or spiritual space. The opening prayers may be included in this stage, as they mark the moment of entry into the ritual. This is followed by a preparatory stage, which is some type of rite or action, which prepares the participant for the ritual. In the Eucharist, the preparatory rites are the liturgy of the Word, the Bible readings, which include readings from the Old and or the New Testament, the Psalm and the Gospel reading. This is followed by the climactic moment of the ritual, the moment which is the high point. This in the Eucharistic liturgy is the breaking and sharing of the bread and wine in the Eucharist. There is a celebration of the ritual which follows this. The participants in our example are invited into a moment of reflection, following taking the bread and wine. Following this is often the time when a hymn of thanksgiving is sung, accompanied sometimes by a thanksgiving collection. The ritual finishes with the participants leaving the world of the ritual and entering into their ordinary everyday world. In the Eucharist, this is often marked by a concluding prayer and a sending out of the participants. Lovett's five-step account of ritual is often represented by a triangle, which points towards the climax. The meaning and purpose of rituals for Lovett, writing with John McGrath, is that they allow a connection between the ordinary world and the spiritual world. They allow movement between the two worlds for the participants.